So at the Applied Ballistics Lab, we have a little CNC lathe that we can prototype different bullet designs on. That's important because a lot of times we want to try things out that aren't necessarily made by the bullet companies. The way it works is I'll sketch out a design for a bullet. Whenever you load this up into the software, it shows you physically the tool paths that it's going to take to cut the bullet. This particular design is a 30 caliber 194 grain bullet. It's the kind of bullet that might be uh, favored by F-Class shooters if it works well. And that was our rough pass and we're coming up on the final pass now. This is again just for making maybe five or ten of a prototype. And there we go, a new bullet is born. Okay, so let's see how this one turned out. It's a 30 caliber bullet, so we have 0 .3080. So this one's right on according to my measurement. We're gonna hand this over to Al, and at his station he can do a much better job measuring this entire bullet. So Al, can you give me dimensions on that? Sure. I'm gonna use the Kiyotz optical comparator. It's a digital optical comparator. We're in our third year of using this machine. <clears throat> we wanna make sure that we have historical data on all these test bullets, uh, so maybe we can repeat it if we find the right combination. And that's all the data we need for this bullet right here. Let's load them. All right, we got some of our new 194 308s. We should make them 3.270. Okay. Overall length. And we should, I, you know, I'm gonna put a standard load of 44 grains and 140 in it. Sounds good. And we'll shoot them to the rail gun. We came up with a good load. We measure that out on our charge master. And we set it to the proper seating length. We get the micrometers out and make sure everything's set to the proper depths. Ready to test here. Radar's all tuned in. Alright, we're ready to go when you are. Okay, we got a good track. I know when you're ready for the next one. Okay. Yeah, everything's looking good. We've got a really good signal at the beginning with a little parallax. That means our muzzle velocity is good. So everything looks good. Let's do the last shot. All right, they were good on the radar. So let's see how it looked coming out of the muzzle. Okay, it looks like we have a little bit of, that's either gas blow by or more likely just the bore evacuating ahead of the bullet. And we have a clean separation. It looks like it's rotating at the right rate. It looks like a clean launch. I don't see any problems from this end. We got good tracks on the radar. Um, the BCs look, they look high on average, but not, not really consistent. What do the groups look like? Well, the groups look pretty good. They're a lot tighter than we, we've had before. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Well, it seems like the only problem then is how consistent the BC is. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, that points to a stability problem, most likely. And, you know, we can address that either with shortening the bullets or getting a faster twist barrel. Well, I'd say let's go throw on another barrel. Okay. Yeah, I'll see what I can do with that design, too.